Top 5 Facts About Houdini 1. He named himself after another magician. Houdini was born Eric Weiss, but his name was altered to Eric Weiss after his family emigrated from Hungary to Wisconsin when he was 4 years old. Young Eric, nicknamed Harry or Harry had a fascination with magic, particularly the work of the famed French conjurer Jean Ouch and Robert Houdin. When he began his own magic career in the 1890s, he paid homage to his hero by adding an eye to the name Houdin to create the stage moniker Harry Houdini. 2. Houdini first found fame as the king of handcuffs. Houdini struggled during his early years in show business and considered calling it quits and opening a magic school. He finally caught a break in 1899 when vaudeville impresario Martin Beck booked him on a tour of the United States and Europe. On Beck's advice, Houdini made escapes a central part of his act. He began challenging audiences to tie him up or lock him in handcuffs, and he promoted his shows by staging escapes from local jails, usually after being strip-searched and put in shackles by police. The routine was a huge success. 3. His brother was also a successful magician. After establishing himself in Europe in the early 1900s, Houdini brought over his younger brother Theo, a magician who had worked as his partner during his early career. Theo soon began performing his brother's tricks under the stage name Hardin. The pair even created a phony rivalry to help boost their profiles. Though largely overshadowed by his more famous sibling, Hardin is now credited with having pioneered the act of escaping from a straitjacket in full view of the audience, a trick that became a staple of Houdini's routine. 4. Houdini once staged an escape from inside a sea monster. In September 1911, a group of Boston businessmen challenged Houdini to attempt the most bizarre stunt of his career an escape from the belly of a 1,500-pound sea monster that had washed up in the city's harbor. Historians still aren't sure what the creature actually was, it's been described as everything from a whale to a leatherback turtle, but Houdini was up to the task. 5. He was an aviation pioneer. After developing a passion for aviation while in Europe in 1909, Houdini bought a French-made Voisin biplane and became one of the world's first private pilots. The magician crashed during his maiden flight in Germany, but he continued practicing and eventually set his sights on becoming the first man to pilot an airplane in Australia. During a tour down under in March 1910, Houdini hopped behind the controls of his Voisin and made three successful flights near Melbourne, each only a couple of minutes long. The Aerial League of Australia certified Houdini's display as the country's first powered and controlled flight, but some historians have since argued that the record actually belongs to Colin de Vries, an Englishman who had made a brief flight a few months earlier. In 2010, Houdini and de Vries were both honored in a series of stamps commemorating the centennial of powered flight in Australia.